Millions of years of evolution have equipped living organisms with properties that, over the years, humans have learned how to take advantage of. Biotechnology is the scientific discipline that uses these properties in order to prevent and cure diseases, protect the environment, and improve food production. At the National Center for Biotechnology in Madrid, we perform the most innovative biotechnology research and development to improve our lives. Despite the great advances in medicine, infectious diseases are still a major threat to the health of humans and domestic animals. So, besides investigating and advancing on our knowledge of viruses like influenza or hepatitis C, we have generated prototype vaccines to fight against major pandemics such as AIDS. A candidate vaccine against this disease developed in the CNB is already undergoing clinical trials in humans. At the CNB, we also investigate new emerging viruses such as the acute respiratory syndrome virus. This coronavirus appeared in China in 2002, causing an epidemic with high mortality, which spread rapidly across five continents. In just a decade, studies in our center have produced a prototype vaccine for this disease and identified experimental drugs. The number of infections caused by antibiotic-resistant bacteria are increasingly more abundant, highlighting the need for new and effective treatments. At the CNB, we work in the development of new antibiotics capable of killing resistant bacteria, which will be used to cure diseases that each year affect millions of people worldwide, such as meningitis or pneumonia. Improving our understanding of how our cells work opens the door to new treatments to cure hereditary, degenerative or immune diseases and also to slow down the effects of aging. In our laboratories we have discovered new methods to detect some cancers and we have patented biomarkers and antibodies to diagnose devastating diseases such as rheumatoid arthritis and Alzheimer's. We also design cellular and animal models that reproduce some of these diseases to better understand the different pathologies and to confirm the safety of the treatments that we discover. Many treatments fail to reach the sites in the body where their action is necessary. Therefore, we seek to develop new methods that allow us to effectively administer and deliver new drugs to their destination. To achieve this, we have generated bacteria that recognize and specifically stick to tumor cells. In addition to precisely targeting the tumor, we have added a structure from other bacteria that directly injects the drug into the cancer cell. High levels of water and soil pollution are threatening our health and environment. Biotechnology applied to bacteria can help us remove these hazardous wastes. At the CNB, we manage to generate bacteria that can be used to detect and neutralize toxic compounds in wastewater or to clean areas affected by oil spills. Likewise, we have inserted a gene into the genome of bacteria that live in the soil to make them capable of inactivating a frequent poison like arsenic and transform it into less harmful compounds. And not only do we work with bacteria, but also study plants that capture heavy metals and can be used to clean contaminated soil. Plants also play a key role in feeding a growing population and counteract the effects of climate change on agriculture. At the CNB, we're investigating how plants grow and how they react to environmental changes. We have used this knowledge to select new plant varieties that are more resistant to pathogens or pests, require less fertilizer or become more productive in extreme climates. Also, studying natural varieties, we have identified a gene whose action promotes growth at high temperatures, which in the future could allow cultivating some crops in disadvantaged regions or reduce the impact of climate change on agriculture. Many of these findings have been possible thanks to the technological advances in recent years. At the CNB, we use and develop novel microscopy techniques and computer analysis methods that allow us to see inside the cell and to identify many of the structures at the atomic level. 
We have also developed tools, such as the so-called magnetic tweezers, that allow us to manipulate molecules individually and with great precision to understand the action of some proteins on our DNA. With this technology, we study how we can repair different types of gene damage that are responsible for serious diseases. At the CNB, we use techniques in the fields of genomics, proteomics and computational biology to decipher the instructions encoded in the genes, understand how they translate into proteins and how they contribute to the complex workings of a living being. To this end, we participate in the Human Proteome Project, an international effort to discover and characterize all proteins in our body. In the laboratories where this research is carried out, many young scientists of different nationalities are trained. The results of our studies are published in the most prestigious international journals. Since we are convinced that science provides an important added value to the economy, we work closely with industry, promoting the creation of new biotech companies. At the CNB, we use biotechnology as an innovative tool, improving health and nutrition and promoting the development of living organisms in a clean and sustainable environment. We apply our research to improve our lives.